Hey guys, how are you doing? This is Daniel from Daniel Scotch Entertainment and today I'm going to show you my basic color correction and grading workflow. I'll uh, take a look at this shot. It's a nice little hover dam sitting over here. Interesting angle, shot from a helicopter flight, but the image doesn't quite sell itself. Uh, this shot was taken on, on a Sony A7S with the s 2 profile. As some of you might already know, the s 2 profile or any log profile will get you this nice flat looking image to increase your dynamic range for further color grading. Well, let's take a look at how you can get your image looking from this to that. Well, that's a big difference, right? Okay, let's jump into it and erase the color correction and remove this too. Okay, first, let's take a look at the RGB parade. Um, if you're clipping the whites, that means uh, the RGB parade will be over the hundreds. And if you're clipping the blacks, it means the RGB parade will be under the zero. And that's not a good thing, so we'll avoid that. Um, let's begin with messing with our exposure. Bring down the blacks first to a point that seems interesting, but not clipping the blacks. And do the same with the whites, only push them up a little bit, uh, like this. And the midtones, let's bring them down to so we can get more contrast in the picture. I like this. Still not clipping the whites, still not clipping the blacks. That's a good thing to do. Okay, well, let's compare this simple adjustments with um, our starting point. This was the start, and this is with our minor adjustments. This is basic color correction, people. And, well, let's take a look at the saturation. Uh, first, let's boost the global saturation up a little bit. And then let's see what the shadows in the saturation does. If we... Um, bring it down you see it's almost black and white if you push it up i don't know if you notice it but the water the black water it turns bluish so well i like it and the midtones let's bring them down let's push them up and see what difference it makes the mountains they start to live more warmth and more natural looking and the highlights as you can see, if you look at the hover dam, at this point the hover dam uh, it almost seems whitish. And if you push it up, you can see the yellowish. Uh, the yellow is starting to show here. I think this looks good for now. And let's compare it from our first picture. This was our first picture, and this is with our basic color correction, exposure, and saturation settings applied on it. And if you want, you can go for a, a stylized look. Uh, sometimes it's nice if you want to stylize your look a little bit like the Hollywood blockbuster movies. <laughs> if you see, uh, let me see, I, I, I push the shadows into the teal. And I want to make some color contrast. So I'll bring the midtones down to the reddish, yellowish vibe. And give the picture more warmth because it it is desert nevada is a desert so i don't mind to push the highlights into the yellowish orange zone i like it this way okay to to add a little drama to your picture um you can add some vignette it's a little difference but it just adds that little spice into it which you can see and to give it more cinematic feel put on a letter box and as you can see it it seems good but not quite that interesting so I'll offset the image to a point where I can see more interesting stuff happen in the, in the picture as you can see now I can see a mountain I can see the road across the whole picture and I see the the water streaming across the whole picture too I think this looks nice if you found this tutorial helpful, give me a like, subscribe, and if you have any questions or remarks, comments, just comment down below, and I'll, I'll see you soon, man. Cheers.